Here we go. So, you have a Spider-Man sequel for me? Yes, sir, I do. The third entry in the, I guess, home trilogy. Yeah, it seems like we decided that was a thing at a certain point. So what happens in this movie? <laughs> well, now Peter is super famous because Mysterio revealed his identity in the last movie, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so his world's turned upside down. The media's all over him and his friends. That Flash guy writes a whole book about it. They did that pretty it. well. Oh, boy. And there Even are also some fast. legal troubles involved. The so book. they, get this, they get Matt Murdock in. Charlie Cox. He's from the Netflix show. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh boy, it doesn't get much crazier than that. <laughs> so you have no idea. Well, that's rude. No, that's, I have idea. No, because sir, check this out. I, I have was idea. Thinking we get Andrew Garfield <laughs> to come in as Spider-Man from another universe. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he's great. <laughs> okay. I was expecting a bigger reaction than that. But also, we get oh. Toby Maguire in as Spider-Man too. Good actor, sure. <laughs> Sir, Toby Maguire. I did love Seabiscuit. That was great. <laughs> no. Seabiscuit is tight. Sir, they both played Spider-Man before. Oh, did they? Yeah, in other movies. Oh, did they? they... Oh, I don't... I guess I missed those. I... <laughs> Uh, how do you miss really? the Tobey Maguire ones? I have ones. no recollection, how? but the movie will still work, right? I... Uh, <laughs> I guess. Okay, great. So let's hear it. I... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that was the big I mean, draw. I was hoping we could get Alfred Molina to come in. As Doc Ock. Oh, he was fantastic in Chocolat. Oh, okay, no, you know what, sir? I'm gonna need you to go watch five Spider-Man movies real quick, okay? Oh, really? Yeah, the imp uh, none of this is gonna land the way I wanted to if you haven't watched those five movies. Five movies, okay. All right. Please, it's, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> So, what did you think? Yeah, you know, I mean, some of that was later. great. What was that old Ooh. jazz thing about, though? Oh, we don't need to talk about that. Okay, now listen <laughs> to this. I'm thinking we get Willem Dafoe <laughs> back as Green Goblin. Oh, he's from the first movie. Oh, there's the reaction there I'm going for. I was also thinking we get Thomas Hayden <laughs> Church back as Sandman and Reese Ifans back as Lizard. Well, he's from the third movie, and he's from the first movie of the rebooted movies. <laughs> That's right, and also James <laughs> Fox is Electro. He's from the second movie of the rebooted movies. <laughs> he sure is, sir. They're all uh. from the other movies. Amazing. Hey, what about James Franco? Should we get him back? Eh. Dane <laughs> eh. Well, okay then. So what happens in the movie? <laughs> well, okay. So it turns out that being uh. the most famous person in the world has kind of ruined Peter and MJ and Ned's chances of getting into MIT. Yep. Oh, okay. And so Peter feels bad, so he goes to see Doctor Strange to ask him to cast a spell to make everybody forget he's Spider-Man. And how does that go? Oh, not well, sir. See, uh. he starts the spell, but then Peter keeps asking for little changes to it, like he wants MJ to remember him. So Doctor Doctor Strange takes a minute to just talk it through. No, 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 no. God, no. Why not? So God, the movie no. can happen. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> so the spell gets messed up, and then people from other universes that know that uh. Peter Parker is Spider-Man start popping into this universe. Wait, did Electro know that Peter Parker was Spider-Man? No, he didn't. No. So. Okay. So eventually Peter's gonna <laughs> capture all these uh, villains and they're yeah. gonna kind of recap each other's movies to each other. A bunch of inside jokes for fans. Very yes. fun. And then Doctor Strange makes this box that'll send everybody back to their universes. Oh, great. But the thing is, they all got zapped over here pretty much right before they died. So Peter's like, well, we have to help them. We can't just send them to die. Oh. But Doctor Strange says no. So Peter steals the box and then Doctor Strange brings him into the mirror dimension, which he controls. Oh man, it's gonna be for Peter to beat Strange in there. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, cause see, math. Oh, math. Yeah, math. math. That works, kinda. So what else is gonna happen? <laughs> well, there's kind of this consensus on the internet that everybody's tired of seeing Uncle Ben die in Spider-Man projects. That does seem to happen a lot. Yeah, so I figure we don't do that. Right. And instead, we kill Aunt May. Oh my god. Yeah, Green Goblin's gonna blow her up, and right before she dies, she's gonna tell Peter, you know, with great power must also come great response. Responsibility. Mm, yeah, that lesson just doesn't carry the same weight without one of your parents' siblings violently dying. <laughs> Very true, sir. So anyway, then violently? Ned is going to use Doctor Strange's <sighs> sling ring to try and open a portal to get Peter. And that's a thing he can do? Yeah, we're going to throw in a line about him having magic in his family so he can <sighs> do portals now. Wow, okay, so we're just kind of crapping part. on Doctor Strange's abilities in this movie a little bit, huh? A little, yeah. Yes. Well, okay then. And so then these portals open and that's how these other Peter Parkers come in, the ones played by Toby. Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 
Wow. <laughs> it's gonna be very nostalgic, sir. So I guess they each get like a cameo line, like a little jokey thing. Oh no, they're like in the movie yeah, now. In it, in oh, it. they are. Yeah, full-on characters with effects on the plot and everything. Okay, well that's not usually how these things go. <laughs> yeah, no, well see, this movie's kind of a love letter to the Spider-Man movies and their fans. Oh, that's, right. that's nice. I like that. Yeah, a massively lucrative showcase of our intellectual property. <laughs> okay, the first thing you said sounded a lot more romantic though. Cashing in on nostalgia, but done right. <laughs> First time. Oh, okay, gotcha. So does Ned keep making portals? No, he stops mm. at two. I mean, why not keep trying? They could get Tom Holland. They could see how many Spider-Mans they can get. The scene has served its purpose, so we gotta move on. Oh, okay. So anyway, then eventually all the spider guys are gonna get together and do some science to make cures for the bad guys. Very right. cool. And then there's gonna be this big fight where they try to cure them all. Amazing, man. It's gonna be a little hard to keep track of which Spider-Man's which during the big fight, huh? Actually, yeah, a little. Mm. All right. And so eventually Tom uh, Holland no, is no, really. so mad that he's about to kill Green Goblin. Oh boy. But Tobey Maguire steps in and stops him using nothing but his wise face. And then he gets stabbed. <laughs> oh no, is he okay? His oh. wise yeah. face. Oh, yeah, he's all right. All right. Uh. It's kind of rude of you emotionally, you know? <laughs> no. So none of their spidey senses went off when he was about to get stabbed? No, because they were having a no. moment. Spidey senses don't work if you're having a moment. Oh, no, good to know. So then it looks like all these other people are about to come in from other dimensions. Yeah, it's about right. to be nuts. Oh no. So Tom Holland, Peter, has Doctor Strange cast a new spell where everybody forgets about Peter Parker entirely. Oh, very selfless. It is. So then all the villains get sent back to their universes, all cured and whatnot. Are they being sent back to just a second before they're killed? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. So anyway, then it's all very sad for Tom Holland's Spider-Man because MJ and Ned don't remember him. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, and he's about to go explain the whole situation to them, but then he realizes they're probably better off without him in their lives. Very sad. Yeah. It is, yeah. So he's got to get an apartment all by himself and start over. So he still has, like, a social security number, like the government still remembers him? <laughs> uh, birth certificate? Maybe. What happens with all the videos and news reports about him being Spider-Man? I guess the memory spell works on computer memory also. What about Flash's book that he wrote? <laughs> okay, look, sir, I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about this memory <sighs> spell, okay? We're going for a clean slate kind of thing here. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. <laughs> Thanks. So what do you think? Oh, it sounds like a really good time. Good you know? questions, Just, How though. are we gonna market this without spoiling all this crazy stuff? Uh... Leaks? Oh, leaks! Yeah, that'll work. Let's do that. <laughs> Leaks? Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. No Way Home. I loved it. I really loved the movie. I think it might be one of the best MCU movies, period. In the way that it caters to those that have seen the other films. Even if you haven't seen the films, you'll still enjoy it, but you probably won't have the same awe and wow factor that a lot of us had watching the other Spider-Man films. So I get that part, but I love this film. It's great. It's... Not perfect because the whole Ned situation I hated. And also when you think of where each villain is gonna be when they go back to their respective universe, some are still gonna die. Like Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, he, he's still dying in Spider-Man 2. He kind of comes to his own realization of what's happening. And then he protects the city and saves everyone while dying. Wouldn't that still happen? Whether he comes to his senses because of that, you know, sensor in the back of his neck or not. Uh, wouldn't that still happen? But I like how a lot of them were uh, cured, Electro, uh, lizard, especially Sandman. That was cool. That was pretty cool. But uh, I love this movie. It's great. Now on Discord, we've talked a lot about spoilers. We have a whole spoiler thread and it might be gone now, but we had that there when it was first out and uh, that was a lot of fun. So if you haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord. We talk a lot about movies and a lot of different stuff, a lot of different channels in there. But one thing that came up for me was how MJ and Ned are the weak point of the film. They're the weak point of this movie in a big way uh, for me. I like Ned in Homecoming. I liked him in Far From Home, even though Far From Home is one of my least favorite uh, Spider-Man films, period. Uh, but MJ in this one was just so sporadic. She was just different in every scenario, and I get it. She's gonna open up the more that she gets to know you and the more that she lets you in, I get that. Uh, but she was just kinda weird here. I don't know, I like the MJ from Far From Home and the MJ from Homecoming, they were just better. And this one, it was more inconsistent uh, as far as what I expected to see. They were the weak points of the movie for me. Every time they were on screen, I was bored. Uh, <laughs> especially with Ned being able to do the sling ring and, and open portals. Uh, sling ring, right? Yeah, and open portals. Uh, that was just ridiculous. Add Wong into the mix. Have him come in and, and I don't know, get to know Peter in some way and, and have him be the one that kind of handles all that. That would have made more sense for me. Having Ned be able to do it so easily really diminished Doctor Strange's power and, uh, and, and all the time he put into learning everything that he did. So that, that part was a little bit weird. I didn't like that. Two questions for you guys though. Where does this rank uh, amongst all the other MCU films? Where is this rank? Spider-Man Far From Home. Where do you rank it? And then also amongst Spider-Man films themselves. Where do you rank this amongst 
Spider-Man films. Uh, I would start to say it's number one for me. Spider-Man 2 and Into the Spider-Verse were top spots for me, but I think No Way Home takes it. This is one of the best cinematic experiences I've ever had in theater. Better than Endgame for me, uh, better than Infinity War. Endgame was great for what it was because that was a culmination of everything that had come before within the MCU, which was great, but seeing how they brought two different universes into play here and made it work, I thought was fantastic. Again, it is not perfect. There are some issues with this movie, uh, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, a lot of wild moments. My wife even said that she had never seen me so giddy and hype <laughs> for a movie before. And I knew everything going into this movie. I knew all the spoilers, all the rumors that were gonna happen in this movie and it was still amazing. And it was still amazing to see it all play out. And uh, I just had a whole lot of fun with it. So just let me know your thoughts on that. Where do you put this movie within the MCU uh, as far as your ranking there? And then where do you put it amongst Spider-Man movies themselves? For me, it's number one top spot for Spider-Man movies because of how they incorporate the nostalgia in there. They do it the right way. It's perfect. Much better than The Matrix Resurrections did in that film. And I'll probably be doing that one pretty soon if Honest Trailers does theirs next week, which I hope because I want to do a versus for that. There won't be a versus for this one for a minute because Honest Trailers won't do it until it's on uh, Blu-ray or, or available on streaming. So we'll wait for that. But I'll do a Matrix Resurrections versus next week if Honest Trailers puts their video out for that. Uh, hopefully they do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for subscribing. Whatever the case, I appreciate you guys. To my hyper crew, Brian Tidwell, Steve-O, Slepnir, Dash Milner, K6013, Daniel Lopez, Kratos, Richie Chester, and Arnon Steelpelt. I appreciate you guys for choosing that top tier crew, so thank you so much. Check out the description for more content creators and the videos that they have to offer. Also, this will be the last video for 2021, so I really thank you guys again for an awesome year. It didn't end out the way that I wanted it to, but I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I'll be back in the start of the new year. Uh, we'll get things rolling in January. Uh, but I need to kind of figure some things out with the channel and just how I go about some of these videos. So I'm in planning stage right now with uh, some new content and things I want to try out. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'll see you guys on the Discord. See you guys in the comments for this. And otherwise, have a great rest of your day.